Well, man, today was filled with... All right, so it's about 5.30 in the morning, and we're stepping off to work. And, you know, my day, like I'm sure for a lot of us, doesn't actually begin this early in the morning, right? Kind of hard to believe it's 5.30. Uh, my day begins the night prior, um, when I am pre-setting my coffee and... Uh, double checking my alarm, triple checking my alarm, alarms, uh, um, which actually serve as a as a backup anymore. Um, <laughs> I can't. Uh, I, I don't need. I don't need an alarm. Certainly need. Certainly need my coffee. I, I can promise you that. I, I may not need the alarm, but I certainly need my coffee. I still set two alarms. Cause I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm gonna try not to be that guy. Uh, we get the coffee going and we get on the road and we start moving. I mean, come on, let's get this day going. So it's a Thursday. So we're going to do some uh, leader's time training or sergeant's time training, which I am extremely adamant happens. And I just got passed by a piece of crap Ford. Um, I'm extremely adamant that we, that we do this, this training. And so I've been also adamant uh, about getting training areas outside. So what is uh, sergeant's time training? If you're not, maybe you're a, 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 just a friend of the military, maybe you're a family member is in the military, whatever the case is. So it's some training that we do at the, at the team, uh, sometimes section, sometimes platoon, and, and unfortunately sometimes company level. Um, but that's all driven by that junior NCO. So they're the ones who drive that training, who conduct that training, them and their squad. That's what this idea is about. Um, and so today we're actually going to do a foot march, uh, probably six and a half, seven miles. Uh, we're going to go do through the gas chamber, right? That's always a good time. Uh, and then we're going to, they're going to conduct some, uh, starting time training on TOPs. And then we're gonna come back and I got some other meetings we're gonna to go to, so let's get to this. Here we go again. I-5 traffic because of the sun. Like put some stink and sunglasses on people. What are we doing? meters. If you scrunch it up, they're going to start running. So June is PTSD Awareness Month, and it brings to mind, at least for me, a lot of folks who've come well before us continue to serve today, both active duty and veterans alike, who struggle every single day, not just with things that we may have seen in service, maybe it was in a deployed or operational environment, but also all the struggles that we have in just life happening. Most of us we buff it out and we find a way to keep on keeping on. Some of us have harder days than others. Some of us struggle with anxiety and depression and we don't know how to deal with certain events because ultimately what can happen and unfortunately what does happen to over 8,000 of us take our lives. All right, so a couple of things, staying at ease, right? So when you're checking your soldiers and doing PCCs in preparation for a foot march, what are you looking at, Sergeant Parker? What we're supposed to have in our pack, Sergeant Dominguez, what are you looking for? If boots fit right or not. Do we know? Do we know how to check? And pass on things and make sure that we're looking and inspecting. Because if you don't look, if you just ask, does your do your boots fit right? Soldier's going to say, Roger, sir. I'm going to be doffing your mask. So I'm going to be giving you commands, so though. I'm going to be doing it with you guys. So you
I just rushed back to uh, attend a meeting that ended up being canceled. <laughs> uh, that's the life, I guess. Uh, the good thing in the saving grace is uh, that it's given me the opportunity to get into EES, which is where NCOERs are created and drafted. And I got one I need to review for a soldier who's PCS and going off to Korea. She's been a great trooper, so I want to make sure we give her the credit where credit's due because uh, this is kind of the re that report card. So I'm going to do my part here. So I'm going to get to this and we'll see you on the other side. Uh, we're going to head to the DFAC, see what kind of outstanding food they are or are not serving the soldiers on a Thursday. Let's see if we can find a spot to park. Right, so that, uh, that wasn't too bad. I can't complain too much about it. It certainly was not their best work. Uh, but it wasn't bad. It was certainly better than eating at the uh, at the shop at you know some Snickers bar and Monster Energy drink or something. Because I see so many folks you know doing just that and spending even barracks holders like going to the shop at and eating lunch out of the shop at like the food is not that bad. I get the grind and the routine of things being the same over and over again, but. Don't waste your money. Plus, if you are an NCO, the defect because it puts you by the barracks. And then while you're at the barracks, just go talk to your dudes. Like, you don't have to go inspect. You can just go talk some story. Get involved in the lives of the people who are working with you and for you. And you may, you may see some change. So I got to get ready to go to a meeting. Uh, and then uh, we're going to check on some other stuff, man, and call this one a day. Come on. Well, man, today was filled with foot marches, which may have been uh, insult to injury, taking folks over to uh, the gas chamber and along the way stopping to have a moment of silence and uh, some contemplation at the Post Cemetery about PTSD month, a couple of meetings and some chow along the way. Hope you enjoyed the conversation and, uh, and the journey. If you did, leave me some comments down below. That way we can continue to grow the community and keep this conversation rolling. Consider sharing this out with a battle buddy and invite him in. Uh, we'll just keep growing and keep making things gooder and gooder. And that is an official word. Man, I appreciate all, all you guys out there. You stay hungry, man. You keep grinding and you stay stoked.